move, moving on to a different country. Well, it might feel like a different country, but you were telling me earlier that you moved you moved into Glasgow um, as soon as you were 18, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it was kind of really about sort of trying to reinvent myself, you know, and, and kind of starting, trying to somehow start again, you know, and and, and trying to make Trying to make my own world, trying to make the world that I was interested in, you know. I was interested in music, I was interested in art. Uh, these, were, these were things that if you sort of mentioned them or brought them up in conversations when you're in a scheme, you know, you're, it's kind of termed as having fancy ideas about yourself, you know. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's really not, you know. It's, it's just, you know, you've... You, you know, you just want to be involved in the world in, 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 in a way that's that's uh, about adding to the world and not taking away from the, wor oh, okay. from the world, you know? So, you know, it, it, to me, it's a kind of no-brainer, you know? It's like they want to add to the world and, and sort of try to be, you know, feel better about myself or do I, do I end up in a spiral of negativity where one one thing leads to another thing and before you know it you're at rock bottom mm -hmm. you know and it's so easy to end up there because it's nobody's nobody's fault really it's just that you know education is everything you know and you need to get out into the world and educate yourself you don't need to be necessarily sitting behind a desk uh, pushing a pen to do that mm -hmm. you know you you know you can go you can see um, how other people live how other people go about things there's not there is options. There's, you know, there's not one idea. You know, and you don't want to get locked into one idea, as far as I'm concerned. Was there someone out there that you you saw up ahead that inspired you to go down the road of? Uh, I, I took great inspiration. contemporary artist. Yeah, I mean, I never had that kind of. Uh, you know, I mean, what I'm doing now, you know, and I'm like travelling the world and and and. And making art, and 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 it's all great, you know, and it is like a dream come true. Except I never had the dream really, you know. All I knew was that I would move from day to day, uh, and uh, and uh, and try to involve myself in the things that I liked, and the things that made me feel interested in the world. So um, that's what I kind of attempted, you know, in more naive sort of a way, you know. I just started, you know, you know, reading art magazines. I took great inspiration from music. Um, you initially started off in the music industry, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I was, uh, I played in sort of a small indie bands and, uh, about Glasgow. I was a terrible musician, so. <laughs> Uh, but you oh, know, I did get the haircut, and and it was it was good it was good <laughs> fun, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's I mean that's what I did initially. Uh, but when we were touring about in the van, I would take art magazines, art books with me, and uh, and I gradually got a bit tired of sort of uh, being in a band and relying on other people for to put out a bit of creativity, I guess. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, I suddenly, well, not suddenly, but I kind of re slowly realised that, you know, I had all these art books and I was reading all these art magazines and maybe what I really wanted to do was to, you know, pursue what was up to that point like a hobby, you know, because I always drew and I, I drew it all through my life at a really small age. I always had, you know, a, a, a bag of cranes on me, you know, type of style. So that's what I did, and I was pretty late in going to art school, actually, relatively speaking. Most people go when they're like 18, 19. Mm -hmm. I was uh, 24 when I decided I wanted to go. Uh, <clears throat> after that, it took uh, uh, another year and a half, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, maybe two years to actually get into art school. And uh, I also... Was I had that difficult to, to, to get in? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I got, I applied, the first time I applied, I got uh, rejected. And then, uh, but I didn't want to let that uh, stop me. Fantastic. So I, I kept, uh, I, I then 
uh, kept working on my portfolio for another year after that. And uh, I was lucky to get in the second time. But I know that the way I was feeling at that time, if it had taken five years, You'd have kept going. I would have kept going. Because, uh, yeah, because I knew that I, what, I, what I did know or, or I did feel was that it was something that I thought, if I can do this and, uh, and I can basically play with cranes for the rest of my life, <laughs> and I'll be very happy. This just sounds like a fantastic career. I uh, well, I mean, it, it was something that I kind of just sort of, uh, you know, slowly walked towards. You know, that I, I wasn't like desperately trying to get there. I was doing it in my own terms, and and that was good enough for me. You know, there is no kind of instant sort of hit on on these things. You have to work through it. You have to s just be patient with it, I think, you know. And so from art school, you then went on to exhibit, I think? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I left, I was at art school for four years. I mean, the great thing about once you get into art school is that you know exactly what you're going to be doing for four years, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, and I, I had, uh, I was lucky enough to be uh, getting a government grant at the time, so I knew what my income was going to be, and, uh, and I could augment that way. With, with other jobs, you know, but essentially I knew what my income was going to be. I knew where it was going to be for the next four years, and the the sort of social network that you, you um, build up at art school is fantastic as well. You're meeting all new people from all walks of life, uh, from different countries. So you know, and 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 one of the great things as well is people are actually listening to what you're saying, which is uh, great. They want to know why you've made a piece of work why you've made that drawing or why you've made that piece of sculpture. So you actually get to talk about things that are really personal to you, mm -hmm. which is uh, pretty difficult, and uh, certainly where I was brought up, but it's quite, it's difficult in general to actually talk about things that uh, mean something to you. So yeah, when, uh, you know, once I finished the art school, um, uh, the circumstances in Glasgow at the time was there was no gallery system. Uh, for con certainly not for the art that I was making, contemporary art and, and people around about me. So again, we had to sort of think on our feet a little bit and uh, we decided, well, if there's no galleries here for to show our work, we'll just do put on our own shows. So we would clear out bedrooms in people's houses. <laughs> You know, we would, we would, you know, we would, ha you know, maybe like find a, a disused building you know, and get permission to use that to put on shows. We, you know, it'd be photocopied flyers, leaflets for people to come to these small openings. And it's a great excuse for a party, you know.